John, got to catch up with you. Obviously, uh, you're nearing the start of pre-season now, and you're starting to, to assemble your squad for the, the new season. Yeah, yeah. Um, we uh, we're quite a bit away off yet to uh, to getting a, a squad that we want to get together. Um, it's obviously a little bit frustrating. Uh, I think we've got eight players signed at the moment, um, but um, what I'm not prepared to do is sign people who uh, who are you know signing because because we can afford them. It's pointless signing people who are not good enough for this league uh, just because uh, you know they're, they're on low wages. So I prefer not to sign anybody. Uh, if we we end up with ten players, we end up with ten players. It's it's you know I don't think it's fair on on supporters. I don't think it's fair on myself um, to be expected to uh, to do that. So until uh, you know, till we're in a position where we can we can sign the players that we want, then uh, then obviously I won't be be signing people. Yeah, ultimately you wanna you wanna improve improve the team from from last season. Don't you? Yeah, it would be very difficult. I, you know, the players that we've, I've already signed, I'm, I'm quite happy with. Um, but um, you know, we we need to improve, and uh, you know, it's it as I say, it is difficult. But unless things change, then 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 we won't be able to. But uh, uh, so uh, try my hardest, um, and that's all you can do. But uh, I'm not prepared to to compromise. Um, you know, it's it, like I said, it's just not fair. Yeah, talk us through the players that you've brought in so far. Uh, Jared Hodgkiss. Yeah, Jared's a uh, good experience. Uh, you know, he's been a good, good player at uh, at conference level. He's got experience playing in the league. Uh, Swan, we all we all know about Swan. He's it, it, been a very good keeper. Did well for us when he was here last time. Um, then obviously George, who uh, you know uh, has been our most consistent player over the years. Uh, David, who had an excellent season last season, um, and then Courtney, who we've signed. Um, obviously, we need, we need a midfield player. He's a good age, 23. He's had a lot of uh, football, um, so uh, he's experienced this level and, and done well. And uh, and then uh, obviously Scott Wilson, who uh, centre forward, who's, who scored goals uh, at a lower level, went to Eastley. Uh, there's one or two problems at. Ed Eastley and I'm hoping that uh, with the year under his belt at conference level that he'll, uh, he'll be somebody who'll get the goals for us and, uh, and then obviously Ryan Lloyd who I've seen a lot of from, uh, from when he's been a young lad who uh, has got a lot of ability um, so they're all players who, who are comfortable at this this level and uh, you know and hopefully we can we can add to to what we've got and uh, give them the support that they need. Yeah, the challenge now to, to add to that group, and like I said. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, we ideally we, we need another goalkeeper, obviously. Uh, another centre half, another centre half come right back because left back we we're more than adequately covered for. Um, two or three midfield players, and then uh, probably three or four uh, forwards, and uh, and then we'd be okay. Phone ringing quite a bit this time of year, though. Yeah, you know, there's loads of players that I want uh, that I could have had if you know circumstances have been different at the football club, and we'd have a really good team. Um, but uh, you know, we've not been able to do that, so uh, so I've just got to wait and see see what happens.